show the, uh, the, the House Committee of Transportation uh, the dire straits we really are in uh, financially at the Mississippi Department of Transportation. We just don't have any money to build new construction, new lanes. We, every, the money that we're taking in, we have to spend almost all of it on just maintaining what we have already and, and preserving the present system. And we think that's good management. So there is a definite need, like there is in almost every state in the union, we're going to have to have some kind of additional revenue if we're going to build and maintain the kind of transportation system the people of Mississippi want and need. And if we're going to be, if we're going to compete economically, we've got to have that kind of system. Obviously, one option that came up again and again and again today was the increase in the uh, gas tax. Well, it's going to have to be an increase in something. Uh, if not the gas tax, then, then, then some, or some other source of revenue, this isn't going to fall out of the sky. Uh, everybody's going to face up to that. If you, if you want your highways to be what, you, what I think you want them to be, then you're going to have to pay for it. And uh, that's, just, that's, that's just a cold, hard fact, and that's the bottom line. We're going to have to have more revenue to do what the job is going to do. It seems like you and Commissioner Thagger believe that you guys have not done a good job selling the public on this idea. Do you think that if there's a campaign to do that, Mississippians would support paying that higher gas tax? I, I'm, I'm hopeful they will. Uh, they did in 87, uh, when the last time we did it. So it's been over 25 years since it's been adjusted. I mean, that, that, that money we passed, uh, we appropriated uh, 25, over 25 years ago, and this money to start to pay for what needs to be done. But yeah, the public's going to have to be educated. That's going to be up to us to do that, and hopefully the days will start on that.